Are you tired of trying to find which crystal is good for wealth? Let me help you understand what are the seven crystals that's going to be good for you. Obsidian, Garnet, Citrine, Yellow Sapphire, Lapis Lazuli, Ruby, and Jade. The problem is all these crystals are very expensive. What I did is I put all these crystals in a bracelet so now you can use it. All these crystals are going to be good for you. To find out more, visit our website, eatreadlove.me. Mm. Guess who's back? <laughs> I hope you're doing well, okay? And in continuing our far 50 year anniversary, don't forget, okay, we do have a full moon coming in also on the 23rd. I'll talk more about that. And you're free only today, okay? Well, I have, I tell you the story about this. Okay, I went to the store. I, not dine and dash, my store, my store, okay? So I grab it, okay? So, let's see first, okay? Let's see, let's see. Okay, why did we text them? That's my question. Why did we text them? They didn't reply. Either they were too busy. That's what they say. They got a lot on their plate, they say. But then, okay, you said, it's like, all right, well, whatever. I have other things then. Uh, so I don't know why you texted him. Maybe you, because seventh house lord is retrograde in the fourth. You want to talk? You know, you could, I mean, you guys could be living in together. Is it an Aries or a Gemini? Who is this person that you have tried to reach out, but they did, you didn't get the response? Okay, let's see. Sagittarius, as always, it hasn't been 24 hours since my last upload. I do back-to-back -back readings here, that's why. Okay, and in between, I make your magical trinkets, your amulets. We'll be talking about jade, particularly today, okay, and how it can, it can help you because it's one of the crystals, the gemstones that it has helped me. I'm always wearing a jade. I got jade here. I got jade everywhere, okay? You always see me wearing this. That's why I put it here. Um, King of Wands with a Magician, your person is trying to reach out to you, okay? And I'm seeing here where you used to really, really, really like them. But then you realize like, okay, well, you do want to play tough or, you know, run or chase or I don't play that game. Mm-hmm. I don't play that game, Sal. I just don't. Okay. Now, the full moon, of course, is happening in your 11th house, your dreams and desires. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles. So you give them a taste of their own medicine. So from you really trying, Four of Cups now is like, I don't give enough. It just doesn't make sense. I'm not going to put in you know, any more effort here. Okay. This is what you would realize because it's in the 11th house room. The full moon is happening in Libra. I do sidereal Vedic astrology, not Western. So don't get confused. Okay. So then, as soon as the uh, full moon happened there, you will have a, a vision of what you need and what can nurture you, okay? So this is going to be in the 23rd, and give or take five, five days. Um, high Priestess with the Four of Pentacles. So before, when they don't respond, okay, um, you know, it's like, I feel like these, you still, they would respond, but not to the way that you want it. But on your end, it's just like, yeah, this is a closed chapter because you have the High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles. You put this person behind or this connection, you know, left in the past. Okay. Let's see here. Nine of Cups and ever since you've been more happy and you even block them. Okay, man. You're out with a vengeance over here. Mm -hmm. You have the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Wands. You are out there. You're telling me that it's like, yeah, that's as easy as that. That was easy for me, Sal. To cut, cut, snip, snip. Okay, Seven of Wands with the Nine of Cups. Cut, cut, snip, snip. Okay. And then, Magician with the Ace of Cups, guess who just messaged them? And if you're a cross-watcher, you will message the Sag. Why are you watching? That's my question. <laughs> of course you will. <laughs> you just want to know what's their business. Well, their business, they block you. Mm -hmm. And now that chances are they don't care, you know, we want what we can't have. So you want to have the Sag. I'm not sure if they're going to open up. I guess it's going to be a tough one because the Magician here... The Sag are seeing other people now or just doing their thing. You know, they have the cups, the ones, the swords, you know, they want someone new also. Mm -hmm. So there was a moment of, there was a lapse of judgment with you, Sag, when you tried to reach out. <laughs> well, you probably got carried away with Mercury Retrograde, right? 
So right now it's not in your fifth house, it's in the fourth house. Um, so what, what's best is let's just focus on the inner work. Okay, our comforts would be good. Our house, you know, let's focus on that, you know, cleaning. And then <laughs> I see like second week of May. Mm -hmm. Second week of May, this person, they can't stop. You can you can't stop cross watcher. You still want the sash. Mm. The hangman ain't going nowhere. <laughs> thunder, thunder, thunder. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hangman. Told you, Sanj. You got the upper hand on this one. Yeah, you winning, darling. You winning. No, because you're not. You know you. you <laughs> This person took you for granted. Now that you're not putting any effort and you're the nine of cups, I'm just enjoying, you know, me, I'm a Sag. I'm just living my life right here. Probably it was tough for you to, to even block this. That's why I gave you the blue kyanite. Because I need you to be stronger. I need you to be that strong. That's a very strong crystal for me. The sun, you see that? I need you to shine. I need you to go for your dreams. You know, this one has helped me with like that. But... For whatever reason, okay, I can work with it, but not every time. It's also called K2, okay? No, it gives me calmness, soothing, but when I'm calm, oh my, it's like, it's, you know, like I do things where, <laughs> how do you say this? I'm always happy, that's a thing. So imagine that, I'm always happy. Mm. So, and this is the sun card. Now, the sad are happy. Now, the sad are getting what they're wishing for. Nine of Cups with the sun card. Yep, that's the Sanji's in our fifth year anniversary, guys. Okay, in continuing, of course, of our fifth year anniversary, Three of Cups. Oh, wow, you're going to be very happy, Sun and the Three of Cups. Let me explain, okay, um, what I choose for you guys is the Blue Kyanite. Of course, this is free. You put, your, you put the Lucky 7. If you add this to your card, you go to the bottom of the screen, you will see it. And you just add this, your sign, your zodiac, uh, you know, your zodiac evil eye protection bracelet. So this is the lucky seven. And because it, it's coming, the full moon in Libra, mm -hmm, in Chitra Nakshatra, well, this may be the time that if we want to cut certain things, if we want to try certain things new, it can be favorable also. Plus energy is just a little bit uh, like kind of like, you know, during the full moon, people, that's why it's called lunatic, right? People can get a little bit off balance and that's why I give chakra bracelet. So... Check it out. This is free. Okay, it gets added to your card automatic. And of course, your yellow sapphire, which is for your Lagna Lord, for Jupiter, is still free. Okay, now I wouldn't wait last minute because, um, how to call this, the 23rd. And I don't know how much I have. I literally just grabbed this from my jewelry store and I took everything that is there. So I cannot count. I don't even know how to count. I mean, what to count or how much is the count. So, okay, first comes first serve on this one, okay? So, to align yourself. I, I wear that every time. I'm not in my best place. Or if I'm meditating, you know, that I wear the chakra basin. The sun card with the three of cups. Ooh, look at that. I told you wish being for wish being granted, the star card. Mm. Now this is Saturn in your third house. When Mars leaves your third house, be careful because Mars is gonna go to your fourth. It may become a little bit aggressive in home. Be careful. However, everything that you're working hard for is now going to work out. You were a little bit impatient in the past month. I can see that. But now you're going to be more patient. You will be more consistent with your work, which is good. And when you're consistent, from what I'm seeing here, okay, you will be able to, I feel like even your relationship will just, uh, you know, will take a big shift. Okay. I do know that Jupiter is going to leave your fifth house, go into your sixth house. And that's why this is going to be very good for you to pay off your debts once Jupiter goes to the sixth. When Mercury goes direct, but it's not going to be until like later on. 
it's gonna be direct in Pisces, but it's not gonna move to your fifth house. I feel like your person will reach out, okay? So 26, 24, it's gonna be moving forward. Um, later part of the April and first week of um, May, it's gonna be a good time for you to manifest, like, you know, the things that I must, I'm teaching you guys here. You got the two of the best cards right here, the sun and the star. This is divine timing. So if you manifest right now in alignment to what I'm seeing here, things can happen, things can manifest, because manifestation is all about timing. You can't just manifest. All right? It has to be as above, so below. Does it make sense to you? If, even though you're manifesting lunch and it's still breakfast, it's not going to come. But when you're in lunchtime and you want a specific food, you manifest that food, it's happened. So that's just how easy it is. Okay? That's how I can give it in layman's term. Okay? So when it's time, it's time. Magician, nine of cups, ace of cups, because you are favored. You understand me? So it's lunchtime. <laughs> yeah. So manifest that. Check out this one, of course. Tomorrow, I'll touch the subject again. And if you order today because the mail is closed on the weekends, you are going to be shipped by tomorrow or the next day. Okay? So check it out. I'll see you tomorrow.